Lambak is a Java library that you can use to generate setter, scatter, SQL, hash code and things like that to avoid boilerplate code. However, you need to be very careful while using Lambak with uh, JPA. Especially using add data annotation may result in a lot of issues if you don't understand how add data annotation works under the hood. In this video, let us look at what is the issue with uh, using Lombok's add data annotation with JPA entities? Let's get started. I have created a simple Spring Boot application with starter data JPA, H2 driver and Lombok dependencies. And I have created a uh, entity JPA entity called post which has a primary key ID, title and content properties. Along with at entity and a table customization, I have added this Lombox at data annotation on this. And then I have a post repository, which extends from JPA repository. And that's it. And here in our test, I have created a post repository test and uh, it is a integration test. I am using at Spring Boot test annotation and I auto wide post repository here. And I have one test in which I have created a new instance of post, set the property of uh, title and content and I am saving it. Once I saved it, I am again trying to fetch by the primary key of uh, post ID and then asserting whether the title is uh, my first post or not. So once I asserted, I am just uh, printing the value of post one object to the console using system.out.println. Let's see what happens if I run the test. So here uh, it works fine, right? Here looking at the logs, we can see it persisted the uh, post object into database and then we are able to fetch it and assertion is successful. Finally, when we print post one, we can see here in the log that shows post ID equals one title and content values here. So it is working as expected. Now let us, uh, add a comment entity and establish a relationship with post. A post can have one to many uh, comments and a comment belongs to a post. So now let us create a comment entity and then establish the relationship. Now let us create our comment entity. So here we have a comment entity and a single property content. And also we have established the many to one association from comment to post here using at many to one and then giant column as post underscore ID. And also we are also using at data annotation on comment entity as well. Similar to post, we are also using the comment entity uh, at data on the comment entity. So on the post side, let us establish the relation of a one to many. So here it can be uh, one to many and also I'm going to make it casket type all and fetch strategy I would uh, make it uh, eager. So just to uh, explain the problem with at data annotation. Okay, so now this uh, relationship is established. Let us update our test. In addition to post, let us create a comment and then associate with the post entity and then persist it. So I am going to create a comment and I am going to set comment dot set content. So it can be this is my first comment and then we are setting the post to the uh, post object. And also let us add the other uh, direction like set comments and this is going to be list of comment okay so here we are uh, setting the bi-directional association once we have a post and then associate the comment to the uh, post we are saving it and then we are uh, finding the same entity by id and again checking for the title now first let us comment this out printing the post object to the console and then run it so now it should work just fine see it is working fine okay now what if i try to simply uh, print it in the console so here as you can see this failed resulting in an error called stack overflow error and if you take a look at the uh, error stack trace here you can see 
post dot to string and then comment dot to string and again uh, you can see the infinite loop of while printing the object obviously it is going to call to string method and then it is uh, going in the infinite loop why let us explore that so if you go to our post entity and uh, take a look at this at data annotation here you can see this at data annotation is uh, equivalent to adding at getter at setter at required args constructor to string and uh, equals and hash code annotations so when you simply add at data annotation it's going to generate setters and getters for all the properties and then uh, a constructor with all the final arguments and also it is going to generate a to string method and equals and hash code methods as well and the problem that we are currently facing is when we are using at two string annotation it is going to generate a two string method with all the properties which means it's going to generate a two string for post by printing id title content and comments as well in the same way as we have at data annotation on the comment as well it's going to generate a two string method by printing id content post so what is going to happen it is going to start printing the object post when we called system.out.println it's going to start printing the post one object where it starts printing id title content and it is going to uh, print comments object as well and while printing the comments object it is again going to print comment id content and internally it is going to start printing post so now you can see it starts with post and it tries to print the comment and within the comment it going to uh, try to start printing post object so it went into infinite loop because it's a bidirectional association okay so to understand it even more clearly we can delombog this code and then see what is uh, this annotation is doing so in intellij idea right click on this class uh, go to refactor and here you can see lombok and delombok option select delombok and here i want to delombok of add data annotation so i clicked here similarly if i go to comment and do the same thing refactor delombok add data annotation now let us go back to post and here there is no more add data annotation we delomboked it so there are no um, lombok annotations anymore we have a uh, constructor and then there are setters and getters generated for all the properties and then it generated a equals method by considering all the properties of this class and also it is generating a hash code implementation considering all the properties of this class and finally we have a two string which prints id title content and comments as well and now if we go to comments again same uh, we have setters and getters and then equals hash code and two string method in this it's going to print id content and post object now you see where this infinite loop coming from when you start printing with post it, it is going to print post properties and also comment properties while printing the comment properties it is again uh, repeating to print post so it went into infinite loop so by simply uh, trying to print an object unknowingly we are entering into a uh, issue of stack overflow error so this is uh, not only a problem after uh, with JPA, even if you use those kind of uh, objects and uh, you have a bidirectional association. Let us explore uh, for time being. Let us comment this out. Now let us see. We have post and comment objects and then we have bidirectional association. So now what happens if I simply try to print uh, post? We are going to get into the same issue right because we have this bidirectional association and it is going to result in the same error even without uh, jpa into the picture not only that if you simply let's comment this out and 
let us simply try to uh, print hash code let's see what happens so again it is resulting in stack overflow error also if you try to simply uh, add a post to a set let us see what happens so here we have a set of uh, posts so let's create a set new hash set okay and let's try to add a post okay so if we run still again internally it is going to use hash code method and then uh, resulting in the uh, infinite loop by simply trying to add uh, a post to a set is resulting in this stack overflow error so all these issues are coming because we simply blindly added this add data annotation without understanding what is going to happen with all the hash code and equals implementations so it should be a deliberate choice rather than simply for the convenience of uh, generating the boilerplate if we try to add add data annotation this is kind of issues you are going to encounter so if you don't want to use lambda that is fine or if you want to use uh, Lombok, then you should definitely choose which annotations you really want okay so if you want to have only setters and getters generated simply add those two annotations don't simply add add data annotation okay and also if you are deliberately want to use a, a generated two string method you can select okay exclude comments okay what are the properties that you don't want to include in the generation of two string method specify them okay so also you can uh, follow similar pattern if you want to generate equals and hash code uh, specify which properties uh, you want to exclude from that uh, generated equals and hash code methods so so it you shouldn't blindly uh, add this add data annotation especially on um, jpa entities or for that matter if there are any circular dependencies you should not simply add add data annotation you need to think about the consequences just like we have uh, seen it a simple uh, statement of uh, printing an object to the console or maybe uh, for a logger it's going to result in a stack overflow error or simply calling a hash code method either directly or by simply putting it in a uh, set may result in a stack overflow error so do not use add data annotation blindly think about the consequences